Okay, this will set down like quick uh, rules for all of them. Or not rules, but like ideas for it. It's your first set up the perk system in a pregame lobby and then you're locked into it. And then you buy the perk. And then when you rebuy the perk, you go into the skill tree into tier one. And if you buy the perk three times, you'll be able to fully unlock a feature where if you get down, you don't lose everything. You just go down a tier. And uh, that's, that's the main idea. I think it's really cool. It's like the Borderlands 3 type of skill tree system uh, mixed with the perks. And, you know, I put themes on it just so like they have their own little flair and everything. Uh, and a lot of this is just kind of speculation or not speculation it's just my own ideas so i hope you enjoy also i'm sorry i said all right before everything all right let's go first with quick revive i gave it a spectral theme um the first thing uh the first tree it has is hollowed ground uh when you revive a teammate it'll create a uh like a cast area of effect that will heal others and it'll linger for a bit um it'll heal people and revive them uh and it will be like the normal time uh, it would be like the 50 percent like always like for a quick revive be able to change the cooldown from eight minutes 7.5 to seven minutes uh next one is phantom pool phantom pool you're able to, to just like nearly instantly revive somebody just like extend your hand out and then boom they're up you just like you, like kind of do a gripping motion with one hand and the cooldown will be from 7 to 6.5 to 6 minutes. Um, these are a bit harsh, but like you can't be reviving too much. Uh, just be kind of ruining the gameplay because you'd just you'd be carrying everything, and that'd be overpowered. Uh, the next one is Poltergeist. Poltergeist would just make it where you could revive somebody from afar. You would like look at somebody, hold square, and then they would start like doing the revive icon. Um, it will revive for like f you know the normal 50 percent uh but then like it'll be a 15 percent a little bit less than that um and you can't use any guns with it you can't run either or like yeah sprint but you can still move around so you can like kite or like go around and stuff um but you'll be you'll be able to sprint melee or shoot um to cancel it um, the cooldown is from 6.5 to 6 to 5.5 5 All right, minutes. this one is Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Uh, it's a German theme. Uh, and I can't say any of these names, so I I won't try. I'll just go with the color. Red. Red has it where you take like explosive damage, kind of PhD-ish. Uh, you can upgrade the re resistance from 10% to 15 to 20%. You could still die though by explosive no invincibility to that um the green one will make it it's stronghold basically from bo4 um it should be a little bit stronger though in my opinion uh but i didn't know the stats exactly for its uh, stronghold from black ops 4 like the latest version and i don't i don't really like the latest version but the old one was just kind of overly strong. The blue one, the blue one has it where it's 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 dying wish from Black Ops Four again. Um, you're able to alter the cooldown from eight to seven point five to seven minutes. Oh, and I didn't I forgot to say uh, for the green one, you're able to change the amount of armor gain uh, with upgrades. All right. This next one is Double Tap. It has the military theme. Um, the there's double action, which uh, increases the damage and the fire rate by two uh, upon activation. Activation is via double, like clicking the aim button twice um, because it's a double action. And with the upgrades, you're able to change the uh, amount of time it takes to charge it from 60 seconds, 50 to 40 seconds. And then the next one is cook off. Cook off. Uh, has it where you start you have a chance to shoot explosive bullets um after you continually fire like a specific amount of your magazine and if you keep on firing after that you know uh it could persist the effect of cook off and 
it will be upgrading from like 50 percent so you have to shoot out 50 percent of your magazine and then you got to keep on shooting uh within a rapid fashion if it's a sniper rifle it doesn't need to be continual same thing with shotgun it just uh needs to keep on being pressed uh there will be like a little maybe overheat meter or like visual thing that you could see probably over like the double tap there'll be like a little overheat but uh you, you shoot off 50 percent 40 percent 30 percent you'll start getting more you'll start getting explosive bullets after that if you keep on firing i couldn't think of a third one sadly uh i'd like to hear any ideas all right next one is speed cola i couldn't really think of a theme for this uh but I could figure out the mechanics of it. So the mechanics would be for red, it'd be empty mag, reload speed is faster. It would go from 60, 65 to 70% faster, even though speed cola already cuts it in half, right? Um, it, then the next one is attack reload one, which is like you have some bullets inside the mag and it will go from 50% to 55 to 60%. Um, it'll be a bit slower, 10% slower than the empty one because you can tack reload like any time, but empty mag is specific, so I might even you might even have to buff empty mag or make tactical reload slower. Um, the next, the blue one is a uh, stock option, gobble gum from Black Ops 3. It's able to pull into ammo reserves. You can activate the duration activate the ability by double clicking square um and then you'll start reaching into your ammo reserves uh the cooldown time is the same for all of them but you're able to upgrade the duration from 15 20 to 25 seconds uh, all right for this one uh stamina up i gave it a sports theme the first one sprinter you're able to just like get big sprint speed when you double click it uh, it will increase your sprint speed by 25 for 2 seconds and the cooldown will be 60 to 50 to 40 seconds. I'm, in my idea actually, it would have to be a bit more harsher because the doubles, the sprint speed is, you can activate it when you want. Uh, and it's like, you just have to click sprint twice, so that's that's the thing and the next one is home run after you slide you get a sprint boost uh for 25 percent for two seconds and you have you could upgrade how many charges it gets by one to two to three charges and it regenerates every 45 seconds um and then the third one is runaway runaway has it where you take damage you just get a sprint boost and you get it for two seconds it has a cooldown timer of 60 to 50 to 40. uh that one may be lowered for the timer and here's the idea for that it's kind of interesting because it says taking damage because uh let's say you throw a grenade and you nick yourself um and you've run a bit faster purposely that'd be a speed running tactic right that should really make the dynamic ability of speed runners like kind of interesting it'd be like they'd have to use skill really uh and i thought of this but I don't really think it should be added though, or it would just kind of mess with the flow sometimes. It's just like you can up your cooldown timers would tick down even faster if uh, you stood still or if you like weren't sprinting, uh, but that would mess with the timing I think. So maybe not. Next one is Mule Kick. It is, it has a cowboy theme, you know, from its prior iterations. Uh, it's bandolier taken from black ops 4 it just gives you more ammo and you can upgrade that from 30 percent 35 percent to 40 percent more ammo and then the next one is gold miner gold miner is the specific uh, ability to pick up like bullets from vulture raid um, you can't get any bullets for wonder weapons though uh, and it's not gonna be huge it's not like a magazine every time you pick up a bullet it'll be like I don't know, uh, 10% of a magazine or whatever, or whatever it was in uh, Vulture Aid. Maybe it was like 15%, but you can increase the chances from 15%, 20%, to 30%. Uh, 
And then the th next one, the blue is Cargo Caballo. Um, you're able to carry more equipment. Uh, it has to be the same equipment though, you can't like be carrying grenades and some techs, they won't stack. Uh, but you're able to get an additional one, to two to three equipment slots. So let's say you basically normally have, oopsie, you basically, yeah, you normally have like eight grenade, uh, four grenades, and then you're able to get it to your three. And now you have seven and grenades, which is like pretty good. Uh, but that takes a lot of money because mule kick is expensive. It's very expensive. Because uh, remember, like it adds like a thousand every time you buy it, and you have to rebuy the whole thing. So yeah. All right. Next one is Elemental Pop. It has a retro game theme. We don't really know much because it's a new one. It's only been teased. And I looked at the picture. This is what the bottle looks like it had on it, like at the top here. Um, and it obviously had a retro theme, uh, considering it had like a whole keg video game cabinet uh, uh, that it was made out of. So the first one is Fire Flower. Uh, you get chance to give fire damage. And like, I'll just say this at the start, uh, the chances for all of them are the same. Uh, it's 5%, 10%, 15%. Um, that Fire Flower, I feel like you would get sued by Nintendo, so you'd have to try to change it. I, I wouldn't really know the next one though. Uh, power Pellet, I think the Pac-Man gives electrical damage. And there's Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat gives ice damage. Very obvious via uh, the wordplay. A lot of cold can be fatal for a mortal. It could, it will be quite, it will be useful for combat. Um, here we go is Deadshot. Deadshot has the rock theme from the trailer video or the teaser video. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. The first one is Headbang. Headbang uh, makes it where special infected take an increased headshot damage and it'll go from 20 to 30 to 40%. Tone Death, Tone Death has it where it gives, when you headshot them, it gives a AOE damage of like around like 5 meters, 3 meters, uh, of like it gives like 20%, 25% damage of that bullet that like did the headshot, and the chances of that be, go from 10% to 15% to 20%, um, like if you use a sniper rifle, you get the Tone Death uh, thing to activate. It will like, and it's low levels enough, it will kill everything within like the radius of five meters. The next one is head split. Head split has it where once you get the headshot, uh, and it has the chan and it hits the chances, uh, it will split into three. Uh, so that one bullet will like continue forwards, but then like two of them will splinter off from like the right and left uh, of it within like a small degree. It's not random. And the chances can be changed from 5 to 10 to 15 percent. Next one is Electric Cherry. Electric Cherry ha obviously has the electrical theme. Um, so there's Kilowatt. Kilowatt is Galvin Knuckles. Uh, the good Galvin Knuckles from Black Ops 2 though, not the Black Ops 4 one. Um, and you're able to hold charges with it. That would charges every 20 seconds. Maybe it could be 30 seconds actually. Uh, but you could upgrade how many charges from two to three to four charges. Um, and there's Circuit Breaker. Circuit Breaker just is normal electric cherry. You just reload, it just electrocute, makes an electric, electrocute, electrical burst around you. Um, uh, and you can upgrade the radius from like one meter, two meter to three meter. Maybe even like up, buff that a little bit. Uh, then there's static line. Static line just has it where when you slide, it leaves a electrical, like electric discharge in your path. Zombies running over it will take damage and be stunned. Uh, kind of reminds me of like the liquefier like kind of puddle, or I think there's like a blaze or like a fire slide from Black Ops Four. Uh, but you need to try it, you can upgrade or decrease the amount of meters you need to travel to uh, use the ability again um, it goes from 150 to 125 to 100 meters 